Hi everybody and welcome back to the upper room. I am on my lunch break again, so I'm coming at you from my car. Um, I went into the city, grabbed something to eat. And I wanted to talk about, there's a new film coming out of Padre Pio. Okay, I don't know the name of the film yet, but it's in the works. Uh, and the main character who plays Padre Pio is Shia LaBeouf. I know, it's kind of shocking, right? But Shia LaBeouf is a great actor. You may have remembered him in such movies as like uh, Eagle Eye or um, Transformers. Um, uh, you know, other, there's other, there's several other movies he's been in, but those are the two like come to mind right now. But um, Shia LaBeouf is he he has lived quite a wild lifestyle, and so it's kind of interesting that. He's going to. He's chosen to take up this role. Valid. He's a very good, um, very good actor. But he, I've seen, I, I've seen. Uh, he's get trying to get into character now of playing a young Padre Pio. For those of you that don't know, uh, Saint Padre Pio it was, is a was a Franciscan friar. He could see his guardian angel ever since he was a child. Um, he could read people's sins. In other words, if they would go into the confessional and they would per, they would confess their sins, he could tell them which ones they forgot. Okay, and then they would confess them. All right, and and he also is a Franciscan who suffered from the stigmata, which is the wounds of Christ that that it would that appeared on his hands, feet, and his side. He also suffered from um, the scourging which happened several times, would, would happen almost every day or week or every other day in uh, during his life when he would sleep, he would be spiritually beaten and like Jesus was scourged at the pillar. And so uh, these marks would appear on his body. No one had done anything to him. They just appeared there. He would bless some people and then when they would, uh, his hand would get close to them, they could smell roses the smell of roses, sweetness coming from his wounds. Now, he has since died. He has passed away. But his body is incorrupt, which means it, it doesn't decay. He still, he looks like he's sleeping. So he's, he, is, he is also an incorruptible saint. Uh, Padre Pio's life was, was really remarkable. Um, and, and he's known all throughout the Catholic world. Um, and so I find it fascinating that Shia LaBeouf is taking up this role and I find it so interesting because he is, he is literally, I just saw a recent video of him. He's literally spending time with the Franciscans who, with some Franciscans and the Franciscans who knew Padre Pio to try and get to an, an idea of his personality and his character. He's, he's living with them. He's living in the, um, uh, you know, he, he's, he's living, um, uh, you know, where the general public can't go. Uh, he's living with the other monks. He's, he's immersing himself in, in the character of Padre Pio and his life. And I, I don't, I would not be surprised if from this experience, Shia LaBeouf has a huge conversion. I wouldn't be surprised. You can't spend that much time uh, you know, with Franciscans and, uh, kind of away from the world a little bit and, um, you know, focused on God and, and silence and all those things and, and, uh, putting yourself in the position of being Padre Pio, there, there's no way, uh, he, he would, he would definitely, I think will have a very huge conversion after this film is, has been made. I mean, God chooses um, a lot of times, um, you know, and I speak for myself, foolish people to do great things. And I'm not saying Shia LaBeouf is foolish, but I'm saying that sometimes God uses people who no one would ever expect to make an example of his power and his mercy and his grace that we who think it's too late, there's no, no there's nothing anyone can do. I'm too far gone. It's impossible for me to get any better from where I am. That there's no way. God says no. Nothing's impossible for me. Even you know people who were, you know, sleeping at the, in the gutter at one point in their lives, 
uh, now have families, now have, you know, you know, money in their bank account. Now they have, you know, a life, a career, a place to live, children. They're living good lives uh, because God, God proves his, shows his power and his mercy and his love through these types of people who call out to him for help. And from this experience that Shia LaBeouf is, is, is going through in this film, I really, really think that uh, it's going to, it's going to, we're going to see a change in Shia LaBeouf. And I also think that this film is really going to touch the hearts of a lot of people because, you know, a lot of people do know about Father Pio, but not everybody does. And, but he's very famous among, amongst Catholics you know, uh, because of the miraculous things that ha occurred surrounding his life, what with the stigmata and, and, and everything else. Um, but he's not the first Franciscan to have received the stigmata from God. You know, uh, St. Francis, the founder of the Franciscans, also received the stigmata. So it's just no coincidence that another Franciscan, uh, you know, would also receive this, this type of gift and suffering from God so that uh, he could partake in Christ's, um, you know, help, uh, 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 take take the load of Christ's suffering, uh, I, I think. Um, so, so check out the movie. I don't know what the name of the movie is yet, but look up Shia LaBeouf plays Padre Pio. He's, he's grown his beard out, you know, his hair. He looks, if you look at pictures of Padre Pio when he was young, there's some pictures, you know, the Vatican was, wasn't sure what to do with Padre Pio because he had these, he would have these uh, extreme fevers, like fevers that were so great that someone, you know, th you should be dead. Uh, but he wasn't, he would just get these fevers and he, he wouldn't die and he would still be like walking around stuff. They, they, they didn't understand, they didn't know what to do with Padre Pio. So they kind of put him over in Italy somewhere, you know, kind of like to put him like somewhere out of, you know, the public eye. And to, but then when he got, you know, the stigmatas, you know, there's pictures of him black and white, like with his arms crossed and you can see the, the holes in his hands, you know, where, you know, where Christ was crucified, you know, on the, uh, the nails. So they appeared on his hands and they appeared on his feet and on his side where he was lanced. Um, Padre Pio had these wounds, uh, uh that would just appeared on him, uh, from God. So, and he lived most of his life with these things that would were bleeding usually, um, you know, and he had always having to wear these gloves, you know, that had, you know, these finger gloves that, that would soak up the blood and they weren't always like heavy bleeding, but they were, they were bleeding. And then, but when he would bless people, cause he was also a priest, they would smell roses. There was even a young man who got into an accident, um, and uh, he went to go visit his cousin in Italy, and his cousin told him about where Padre Pio is. And so they said, "Yeah, let's go see." He was, you know, let's go see him. And he, they went there. And as soon as they walked in, Padre Pio knew him by name, by the way he was blind. And so he called them over to him, had him confess his sins. He asked him, "Are you sorry? Are you sorry to God for the things you've done?" And he said, "Yes." And when he blessed him. Remember, he was blind and he lost his sense of smell for years and years and years. Well, when Padre Pio blessed him, he regained his sense of smell and he could smell roses. And, uh, and so he, he, then he could smell again from Padre Pio's blessing from God. So uh, Padre Pio is a remarkable man, uh, St. Padre Pio. I have, a great, I have a devotion to him. Um, so please try to find that movie. Check it out. Uh, it's coming out, uh, I don't know, it's, it should be out, uh, not too long from now, and, uh, and, uh, and let's, let's pray for Shia LaBeouf that he does a great job, and that he has a great conversion from this, uh, movie. So thanks again for watching Up Room, I'll see you again soon.